Well, you may want to bring the sweet flavor of the tropics to your next summer meal. Chef Jordan Barco from My Verona in Cedar Falls is here to show us how. Okay, so today we're talking about a little bit of salsa, right? Yeah, we're talking about fruit salsa. Um, this is the perfect time of the season where you can go out to your favorite uh, food store and get mangoes, papayas, things like that. Fairly cheap. Um, you know, uh, in the waning days of summer, you want to have something nice and light, you know, with the humidity. I mean, granted, today and yesterday we've had some pretty low temperatures, right. but uh, the past couple of weeks have been really hot. And so this is a perfect way to have, you know, a nice hot piece of fish with some cold sauce on top. And it just looks great. It tastes excellent. It's wonderful. So today I have uh, a little bit of papaya salsa here. Okay. And uh, the process is actually fairly simple if you want to make it at home. You grab your fruit, which could be papaya, kiwi, mango, strawberries, anything like that. Something to, just to give a little bit of sweetness. Right, and you want to pair it with uh, some type of pepper. Now, not too hot of a pepper like habaneros or, or jalapeno would even be a little too hot for that. But you want to go with the sweet peppers, the bell peppers. Uh, these we have right here, ancient sweet peppers that we got in. I'll hold that they're, up here. Yeah, they're very good. They're, they're really interesting, and I think they're a breed of the paprika pepper. Okay. And uh, today we have uh, papaya comes straight from Hawaii. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got these little seeds in here and you just scoop those seeds out you clear the skin off and then you mince up your uh, papaya and I pair this with some shallot a little bit of strawberry for an extra tart sweetness yep. sugar salt pepper uh, a little bit of basil and parsley and you just mince all that up together uh, you can throw it in a food processor if you want uh, but that's not necessary if your knife skills are far, far long enough you can mince it up. Like yours. Like Hence. mine. That's right. And so what you can do with this at the end is uh, pair it with a beautiful piece of fish. We have halibut right here, which is a great piece of fish. They, they come from the north, um, usually Iceland or Alaska. And, you know, maybe just a little bit of salad with olive oil and lemon juice and salt squirted on there. And that's all you really need. You keep it simple, but it, it, the, the flavor just shines through. The salsa is really, really good. And this can be made at home as long as you just pair the pepper with the fruit, a little bit of shallot, maybe some strawberries. I like strawberries, but you don't have to. Um, and that's really it. And you could do this on the grill, or I mean, you could do this with chicken. Oh or yeah, whatever. you could do it with chicken. Uh, you could even do it with pork. You know, I wouldn't suggest doing it with a steak. Uh, it probably right. wouldn't right. taste good with a big old <laughs> ribeye. But yeah, fish, chicken, pork, uh, the lighter, the lighter meats, uh, scallops, anything like that. Okay. No. Now, is this uh, on the menu at My Verona, or is this? Oh, well, this will be on the menu us. tonight. Uh, okay. We don't, we won't have the halibut, but we'll have a beautiful red grouper with this nice salsa, and you can come in and get it tonight, and maybe tomorrow too. Okay, something so. to check out there on Main Street in Cedar Falls uh, for my Verona again. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Jordan, for uh, coming out, and uh, we appreciate it. Hey, no problem, Bob. And Thank you. We'll be right back.